Glitch animations are more popular than ever, so if you want your videos to look extremely professional, pay attention. The 5 glitch transitions you're about to learn will level you up as a video editor. Try to practice with me, because every transition in this video comes with a different skill you can learn. Transition 1. This one's fairly simple to familiarize you with the glitch effect. So you have two clips right here in the timeline. Head over to the project panel and click the new item button. Then choose a new adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of your clips. Keep in mind, the length of the adjustment layers will determine the length of the transition. Now find the VR digital glitch effect and drag it on your adjustment layer. Also find the strobe light effect and do the same. Then in the effect controls, expand the distortion properties. Increase the color distortion to 100 and the distortion rate to about 70. Also increase the evolution. These settings are gonna give it a motion effect. Next, for the strobe effect, set the color to black. Then set the strobe probability to 50% and play around with the blend percentage. Now to top it off, I like to add an extra chromatic distortion effect onto the adjustment layer. And there you go, that looks awesome. Transition number two, spawning glitch transition. Here you can see two clips in the same environment. First, you wanna put the second clip one track up. Then on the second clip, go to the second frame and set a cut. Now move the frame to the left, about 20 frames back in time. This is gonna be the duration of the transition. Make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. Then in here, click the pen tool to create a mask. Now in the program monitor, draw a mask around the person. No need to mask out every hair on a rotoscope scope level, but try to be a little precise. Next, we're going back into the timeline. In here, right click your clip and nest it. We're doing this because otherwise the effects we're about to apply will only work on the inside of the mask. Now find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on your clip. Head back to the effect controls and increase the blurriness until the man is barely visible. Then back in the timeline, hold down Alt and click and drag the nest two frames further in time. Now make sure that one is selected and go back to the effect controls. Decrease the blurriness to make the man slightly more visible. Now keep doing that and keep gradually decreasing the blurriness. When you reach the end of the clip, you've created this beautiful flickering glitch effect. If you want, you can also enhance it by adding the VR chromatic aberrations effect. Play around with these settings and see if it looks any better. The third glitch transition is gonna blow your mind. It's from the brand new Hyper Glitch plugin from Production Crate. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. After installing the LaForge suite using Portal, you can apply the hyper glitch to a selected clip and boom. The best thing is that you can customize it exactly the way you want it to be in the effect controls. Now you can also do some fun stuff with this. If you apply this effect to an adjustment layer, you can use this adjustment layer to create your own glitch transitions. Gives you a little bit more control and all of that thanks to its customizability. Of course, you can also simply drag the installed transition out of the effects library in between your clips and boom. Oh, I love the chromatic aberration. And this is what the hyper glitch looks like, by the way. Amazing. The hologram transition is super cool as well. But lastly, I want to take a look at the VHS transition. And there you go. Those are just wonderful. Now, there's so much more than the hyper glitch transitions. You can, for example, add a VHS effect to your clips. This completely changes it, the colors and everything. This plugin is truly amazing. Oh, and you can also access plugins from the effects browser. That way, you can just drag and drop them on your clips. Now, all these plugins in the LaForge editor also work in After Effects, especially the heavier VFX will work smoother in After Effects. Take a look at these God Rays, for example. You can just drag the center point to the position you need and then adjust the settings so it fits your clip. I wish I knew this one sooner. Or perhaps the glow effect. This can turn your clips into dreams in just one click. These can be used for anything. Transitions, overlays, animations. Now you will get 25 awesome Premiere Pro and After Effects plugins. Please don't miss out. This plugin is kinda like putting Premiere and After Effects on steroids. Now if you want some, click the link down below to level up your video editing skills by checking out Production Crate. Now it's time for Glitch transition number four, a spinning zoom effect. So here you can see two clips. The first thing you have to do is create an adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of your clips. Now duplicate your adjustment layer one track up. You will understand why in a second. Of course, trim them so they have the same length on both sides. The length of these clips determines the length of the transition. Next, find the replicate effect in the effect browser and drag it on the first adjustment layer. After that, find the mirror effect and drag it on your clip as well. Head over 
over to the effect controls and set the count from the replicate effect to 3. Now for the mirror effect, set the reflection angle to 90 degrees. Then drag the reflection center down so it connects to the middle. Now duplicate the mirror effect and set the reflection angle to minus 90 degrees. Move the reflection center up this time. Duplicate it again and set the reflection angle to 0. Then drag the reflection center to the left side again until the clips connect. Duplicate it one last time and set the reflection angle to 180 degrees. Then drag the reflection center to the right side. By doing this we created space on the sides so when we're spinning we're not seeing black bars. Amazing, now it's time for the spinning effect. To create this, find the transform effect in the effects library. Drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Then head over to the effects controls and make sure the playhead is on the beginning of the clip. Set the scale to 300, that way the clip will look original again. Then on the transform effect, add a rotation keyframe. Now grab the playhead, move further in time and set the rotation to 360. This will create a full rotation but it looks a bit linear. To fix that, expand the velocity curves and pull the levers of both the keyframes. This will ease them out and ease them in. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. You can leave it like this if you want but we still need to make it look glitchy. There's no better effect than chromatic aberrations to add some glitching elements. Once you have it applied to your adjustment layer, set a keyframe in the middle of the animation for the properties you want to adjust. Then in the beginning of the clip, set the properties to zero so you can't see them. Then do the same thing at the end of the clip. And there you go. To continue the lesson and learn more about the fifth transition, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.